For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. A multi-year infrastructure project to expand fiber broadband across most of Memphis is now underway. WKNO's Katie Reardon has more. Elected officials say Memphis's availability of high-speed broadband internet has not historically kept pace with other major cities, contributing to a digital divide. Currently, only roughly 25% of the population has access to top-of-the-line broadband. At a ceremonial groundbreaking Tuesday, Mayor Paul Young touted an ongoing public-private plan to change that. With incentives from the city, the company Blue Suede Networks is building a more than $820 million fiber optic network. It'll be accessible to 85% of the city's homes and businesses. Contractually, the network must include a majority of low-income neighborhoods. Mayor Young says the pandemic highlighted the importance of modern internet infrastructure, particularly for students faced with online learning. We know that this type of connectivity is just as important as sewer, roads, and electricity, because this is the way that 21st century residents are going to connect uh, to the rest of the world. Young says completion of the network could take up to seven years. A company called Ting says it will provide internet services via the network starting this year. Katie Reardon, WKNO News. More than 1,000 Tennesseans have died of suicide in the past year. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released its National Suicide Prevention Plan last week. WPLN's Catherine Sweeney reports the director talked on Monday with local providers about efforts to reverse the trend. The state's suicide rate has been on the rise for years. It increased by more than 10 percent from 2015 to 2019. The country as a whole has experienced a similar rise. That's one of the reasons, according to Director Mandy Cohen, the CDC compiled a national strategy on suicide prevention. The foundational pillar of that is community prevention. A group of government and nonprofit providers talked at a Nashville clinic called Centerstone. They're adjusting their approaches, like expanding telehealth and training therapists on recognizing warning signs. It also included warning signs training for non-medical community members, such as teachers and church leaders. Catherine Sweeney, WPLN News. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org and on the WKNO app.